Tech Garage, presented by rockauto.com, is brought to you by NH Oil Undercoating, the official oil-based rust prevention system. Clamp Tight, the clamp making tool. And by rockauto.com, all the parts your car will ever need. Welcome back to Tech Garage, presented by rockauto.com. Now I have the exact connector and I have the circuit board that Dave took out of that pickup truck. And you can see right here, it's burnt to smithereens, man. It wasn't conducting any electricity. And our board right here, it's actually got some burns in itself. So what's going on? Well, it's too much amp draw. Well, no worries, Rock Auto has us covered. They sell a whole kit and that's pretty neat because if I put this back together, I don't wanna do the job twice. So the kit here comes with the wire harness with the big wires on it, also comes with the new circuit board and voila, you actually got the butt connectors, which makes it real nice because we know how important good wire practices are here at Tech Garage. And you can take a look at this graphic right here. You can do a pigtail, T-type, Western Union, but the key is, is to use the tools and do them right. We have all the different tools here that you can solder with and make sure you use the shrink wrap and rosin core solder when you're doing it. Now, what was Dave looking at? Well, this is pretty cool because we got the board right here. And if I take this right here, this is the blower motor. And what's happening with the blower motor is it's actually blowing over the resistor. Here's where Dave's resistor was. Now remember, this is upside down. He was laying up under the dash doing it, but there it is right there. So number one, the blower motor is going over it, trying to keep it cool, even though there was a big amp draw, because it is a resistor. He was under there with those two bolts. Here's his connector. He unbolted it, took it out, and just replaced it. Really nothing to it. And you can see this case duct system. And what a case duct system does, it basically just takes the air, routes it through the system, and puts it out where you want it. Either you want heat or you want air conditioning and you have an evaporator and you got a heater core, but that chip's in there to do that. Now that chip is a little different. Josh, help me out. Talk about pulse width modulation a little bit. Yeah, a lot of places actually call this a blower control module. And what that does is it just applies voltage at a specified rate. What I like to do is I like to use an analogy like a merry-go-round. And as I'm pushing my kids around on the merry-go-round, if I just give it a little push every once in a while, it spins slow. But if I really want to try to sling them off, I just increase my pulse and I go around and around stop, and around and stop it, I'm getting off. sick, <laughs> not too fast. Now on case duct systems, Josh, this is old school. So if you help me out, we can flip this over here and we'll get it flipped over. And then I'll also spin it around here. And what we can do, I think I got a vacuum pump in the drawer located right here. What it is, it's vacuum actuated. So if I take this vacuum pump and I hook it up right here, you can see this is a vacuum actuator. And when I hook it up, Josh, if you'd be so kind as to give me some vacuum right here, I think we can go ahead, there it is. And then if I release it, bam, there it goes. One more time. Nice, so we're actually open and closing the door just like that with vacuum. Now here's a tech tip for you. If your air condition's blowing on defrost, which a lot of people have, you're probably losing some kind of vacuum. Now it could be source vacuum coming into the case all the way from your motor, or it could just be one of these actuators are leaking. Now an old school trick, we used to take this control head and we would pinch these lines one at a time. And when the door switched, we knew one of these lines were leaking, Josh. Now on the other hand, let's get into some high tech stuff, man. You're all about electronic air condition. That's vacuum actuated. This one right here, controlled all different, man. This is a automatic AC system, and I have an electronic actuator here, a lot different. It is, and they start off with two wire, so all they would do is they would have polarity in one direction, and the door would open that way. But then they just reverse the polarity, and it'd go the other way. So that's just two wires, but now they're up to five wires. Still the same one way or the other uh, actuation, but now the computer's able to actually monitor it with the three wires and see exactly which position that door's in, and it can just stop it right wherever it wants to. That's cool, so I got a car like my wife, she's over there freezing to death, and I'm sitting over here sweating, so I can actually blend that AC See, I can stop that door halfway, get me some heat and air for her, and I can get full air conditioning, close that joker, and whew, there I go, I'm right. nice and cold. It's nice to have dual zone in that situation. She can be nice and warm, and you can stay nice and cool. And the diagnostics, pretty much the same, or are you gonna need a computer? A computer, it's gonna tell exactly where that door needs to be. If you want it 69 degrees or 72 degrees, it's gonna have preset values to know exactly what position to have those doors in to get you at your optimum temperature. Well, there you go. Whether you have electronic air conditioning or old school air conditioning, it's still gonna work the same, it's the same principle. The duct work, the doors, the flow, and you definitely need that resistor block. Speaking of that resistor block, Dave's underway over there. Let's check in with him. 
we've got the connectors done on both sides and only one thing to do and that's to click this into place and there it is it sounded great all right we'll grab the key here turn it on we know the blower ran in high before and only high so we'll try it on low okay hear the fan running that's good news hey it's going up here as we go to medium medium high and high we've got all the positions that means we got the problem solved I love it when a plan comes together. When we return, John Gardner is going to be doing a little garage ed talking suspension. That's when Tech Garage, presented by rockauto.com, returns.